Come on, Clay. Come on. Get up and scream at these people. Don't sit there dying the way they want you to die, baby. Get up! Oh. Get up! Get up! God damn it, sit down! Screw yourself, Uncle Tom. Tom's woolly head. Oh, there's Uncle Tom. I mean, Uncle Thomas Woolyhead. He's a white, macked man. Hobbles on his wood again. Oh, Tom. Oh, Tom. Like a white man hunk his old mama, he'd be shuffled off in the woods and hide his gentle gray head. Oh, Thomas Woolyhead. 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 Oh, Thomas Shut the hell up. Keep your stupid mouth closed. You don't know anything, so just keep your stupid mouth closed. You're afraid of white people. Stupid. No! Come on. Shit. You don't have any sense, Lula. I could murder you right now. Such a tiny, ugly throat. I could squeeze it flat, watch you turn blue on a hummer for dull kicks. You know, all this weak face, no face, squatting around here, staring over their papers at me, murder them too. That man there, I could rip that times out of his hand, skinny and middle class as I am. I could rip that paper out of his hand and just as easily rip out his throat. Oh. Wait, effort for what? Kill you soft idiots, you don't understand anything but luxury. Oh, you're not telling you again, you the bankhead, you luxury in your face and in your fingers. You telling me what I ought to do? Well, don't. Don't you tell me anything. If I'm a fake middle-class white man and you let me be, I'll rip your lousy breast off. Uncle Tom Thomas, whoever is none of your business. You don't know anything except what's there for you to see and act. Lies, device, not the pure heart, the pumping black heart. You don't ever see that. And I sit here in this buttoned-up suit to keep myself from cutting all your throats. I mean, wantonly, you great liberated whore. You bore some black man, and right away you were an expert on black people. What a lot of shit that is. The only thing you know is you squeal if he bangs you hard enough, and that's all. <laughs> belly rub, shit. You want to do the belly rub? You don't even know how. All that old dippy-dip shit you do on your ass like an elephant. That ain't my kind of belly rub. Belly rub is not queens. Belly rub is dark places with big hats and overcoats held up with one arm. And belly rub hates you. Boy, boy, old face. Popping their fingers, don't know yet what they're doing. They say, I love Bessie Smith. <laughs> don't know yet that Bessie Smith is saying, kiss my ass. Kiss my black, unruly ass. Before love, suffering, desire, or anything you can explain, she's saying, and very plainly, kiss my black ass. If you don't understand that, it's you that's doing the kissing. <laughs> Charlie Parker. Charlie Parker, all the hip white boys scream for bird, and bird singing, up your ass, evil-minded old fay. Up your ass! They sit there talking about the tortured genius of Charlie Parker. Shit. Bird would have played not a note of music if he just walked up East 67th Street and killed the first ten white people he saw. Not a note! And I'm the great would-be poet. Yeah, that's right, poet, some kind of bastard literature. All it takes is a simple knife. Thrust. Just let me bleed you, you loud whore, and one poem vanished. Shit. The whole people are neurotic, struggling to keep from being sane. When the only thing that would cure the neurosis would be your murder. Simple as that. I mean, if I murdered you, then other white people would begin to understand me. You understand? Huh? No, I guess not. If Bessie Smith had killed her some white people, she wouldn't have needed all that music. She could have talked very straight and plain about the world. No grunts, no metaphors, no wiggles in the dark of her soul. Just straight two and two or four. Money, power, luxury, like that. Shit. Crazy niggas turning their backs on sanity when all it takes is that simple act. Murder, just murder, would make us all sane. Yeah.